Hello, you're watching Airy TV. Welcome to English News Broadcast. These are the major headlines. Twenty-two patients diagnosed positive for COVID-19 and tests carried out today. National Greening Campaign Day observed today. The global COVID-19 cases and vaccination coverage continues to rise. And Israel steps up attacks in Gaza with shells and airstrikes. The local news. We have an announcement from the Ministry of Health. 22 patients have been diagnosed positive for COVID-19 in tests carried out today at quarantine centers in the Southern Red Sea, Northern Red Sea, Central, Gashbarka, and Ansaba regions. Out of these, nine patients are from the quarantine center in Asaf, Southern Red Sea region. Five patients are from the quarantine center in Massawa, Northern Red Sea region. Four patients are from quarantine centers in Asmara, Central region. Three patients are from quarantine centers in Baruntu 1, Omhajar 1, and Aordat 1, Gashbarka region. The last patient is from the quarantine center in Abdetaghalezan and Seba region. On the other hand, 15 patients will be receiving medical treatment in hospitals in Central 12, Southern 2, and Ansaba 1 regions have fully recovered and have been discharged from these facilities. The total number of recovered patients has accordingly risen to 3,654, while the number of deaths stands at 12. And the total number of confirmed cases in the country to date has increased to 3,844. Minister of Health, Asmara, May 15, 2021. The National Greening Campaign Day, May 15, has been observed in the southern and central regions with planting tree seedlings. Stating that the tree seedling planting was part of the program of the central region's green campaign, Mr. Abraham Tehlu, representative of the Forestry and Wildlife Authority, said that over one million tree seedlings are ready for distribution to various institutions for planting in the coming rainy season. I'm pointing out that greening clubs have been established in 138 schools in the region. Mr. Abraham called on the clubs to play a leading role in the program. In the same vein, director of Satrap School, Mr. Tsega Wilda Gabriel, said that in 2012 and 2013 academic year, green clubs have been established at 12 schools in the southern region, and that so far 2,503 seedlings of 14 types have been planted and are in good condition. Mr. Tsega also called on other schools in the region to follow the noble examples of Satrap School and establishing green clubs and promote the program. Satrap School has been awarded in 2015 for outstanding performance in the greening campaign. The residents of six villages in Adifakaya administrative area, Haga Subzone, are conducting water and soil conservation activities with a view to boost agricultural production. Indicating on the importance of water and soil conservation and boosting agricultural production, administrator of the administrative area, Mr. Idris Ali, commended the strong participation the residents are demonstrating in the program. I pointed out that 400 people are participating in the program daily. Mr. Idris said that so far over 350 hectares of terraces have been constructed. The residents expressed readiness to strengthen participation in the program and called for the timely supply of agricultural tools and machineries. Adifakai administrative area comprises six villages and is resident to 2,341 people. Owing to the integrated effort conducted in the last 30 years of independence, the rate of prenatal visits by pregnant women to health facilities has increased from 19% to 98% nationwide. Speaking to ARENA, Mr. Ephraim Zibai, a representative of the Department of Family and Community Health and the Ministry of Health, stated that there were only 19 institutions providing prenatal care services throughout the country and that now has reached 252 stating that prenatal visits to health facilities have increased by 171% in the past 30 years and that pregnant women conducted four to eight times per prenatal visits as well as HIV AIDS checkups. Mr. Ephraim said that HIV infection rate on women at fertility age has dropped to 0.2% and the number of pregnant women delivering at health facilities has increased from 6 to over 71%. Regarding the treatment of fistula patients, Mr. Ephraim stated that rehabilitation center 
was opened in 2018 at Mandevara Refer Hospital with an objective of treating the health challenge created due to a breach in delivery and that over 1,700 patients have been treated so far. Mr. Ephraim pointed out that out of the 2,069 women who underwent medical treatment in 2018, 2.9% were diagnosed for low-level lump cancer, whereas 1.24% 1.8 rather percent for high level and 1.7 percent for a very high level lump cancer. The Ministry of Health has finalized preparation to begin vaccinations against lump cancer into 2022 and revealed plan to expand lump cancer tests that have been carried out at Arota Refer Hospital only to other hospitals. And now international news is next, after a short break. Welcome back. The total number of confirmed COVID-19 cases globally surpassed 162.9 million today, with the death toll exceeding 3.3 million. And the number of recovered patients has exceeded 140 million. This is according to World Meters. India's total COVID-19 cases have passed 24.6 million after another world record number of daily infections. United Kingdom Prime Minister Boris Johnson has said the country would accelerate its COVID-19 vaccination program to try to contain a fast-spreading variant first identified in India that could knock a reopening of the economy off track. The UK has delivered one of the world's fastest inoculation campaigns, giving a first shot to almost 70% of the adult population and a second to 36%, helping to reduce infection rates and death. Israel's bombardment of the Gaza Strip entered a sixth consecutive day, with air raids hitting a refugee camp where at least 10 Palestinians, eight children, two women were killed. Meanwhile, Palestinians today gathered in the parts of the occupied West Bank to protest against continued Israeli occupation and the ongoing bombardment of the Gaza. Solidarity rallies were also being held around the world to mark Nakba Day or the catastrophe when the ethnic cleansing of 750,000 Palestinians by Zionist militias took place to create the State of Israel. At least 140 Palestinians, including 39 children, have been killed in the Gaza Strip since Monday. Some 950 others have been wounded in an occupied West Bank. Israeli forces have at least 13 Palestinians were killed. The UN has said it estimates approximately 10,000 Palestinians have left their homes in Gaza amid the Israeli offensive. Dozens of Japanese, American, and French troops landed amid pouring air, rain rather, from the CH-47 transport helicopter onto a grassy field of the training area in southern Japan. Parts of today joint scenario of defending a remote island from an enemy invasion. The three nations first joined drills on Japanese soil dubbed ARC-21, which began Tuesday, come as they seek to set up military ties amid growing Chinese assertiveness in the region. Japanese soldiers and their counterparts from the French Army and the U.S. Marine Corps also conducted an urban warfare drill using a concrete building elsewhere at the Japanese Self-Defense Forces, rather Forces, Kirishima Training Area in the southern Mirizaki Prefecture. Around 200 troops took part in today's exercises. A Chinese spacecraft successfully landed on the surface of Mars today, making China the second spacefaring nation after the United States to land on the Red Planet. The Tainwen, one spacecraft landed on a site in a vast plan known as Utopia Planitia, leaving a Chinese footprint on Mars for the first time. This is according to Xinhua. The craft left its parked orbit at about 1 a.m. Beijing time today. The landing module separated from the orbiter three hours later and entered the maritime atmosphere. It said the landing process consisted of nine minutes of terror as the module slows down and then descends. Taiwan 1 was one of the three that reached Mars in March, rather Mars in February, with U.S. rover Perseverance successfully touching down in a huge depression called Zajiro Crater more than 2,000 kilometers away from Utopia Plancia. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.